All right, time for sports. Myra's here with that. Bye. Well, Hudson, consistency and confidence, those are two qualities that you always want in a goalie. And Royals import Patrick Polifka has shown both. Well, they found the young goalie in the Czech Republic. He was the Royals' first pick in this year's CHL import draft. And the 18-year-old could turn out to be the Royals' number one netminder. He's traveled over 8,300 kilometers to pursue his passion. I'm from Pilsen. That's like 100 kilometers from Prague. It's the west side of Czech Republic near Germany. I miss my family, my friends. But it didn't take goalie Patrick Polivka long to find a family within the Victoria Royals franchise. I have here my teammates and they are, they are fine. He has brothers to take him around. We want to make his uh, experience really good for him. And he's my driver. He's your driver? Yeah. yeah, you know, he's got his Euro music that he likes to listen to when I'm driving him around. And then there are those players who are willing to keep the import grounded. He thought he was pretty tough on it to take me on, so he got a few, few good pokes in and I think I got got a couple in myself, but uh, I think it was a pretty even fight. But the current fight for the 18-year-old is for a spot on the Royals roster. There are four goalies remaining in camp, but there's only room for two. I think he plays a different style than you're used to seeing in North America. I think he's a very athletic guy. He's got good instincts, and I think he's very quick, um, very quick feet. So I think he, he can be very good for us. Polivka was better than good against the Kamloops Blazers. He stopped 23 of 24 shots in his only preseason test. He competes hard in that, uh, you know, he doesn't give up goals easily even on rebounds and uh, that's really key to have. What's the difference between the European game and say the North American game? Um, uh, the European games are like more, more technique and here it is faster, lots of shots. And the next shot Polivka will get to impress the Royals coaching staff is this weekend against the Kelowna Rockets. Another good preseason showing could not only secure Polivka a place between the pipes, he could turn out to be the Royals' number one guy. We have two 18-year-olds, a 17-year-old and a 20-year-old. So, um, But being 18, I think that's a very good age and hopefully that's the age that we would like our starter to be. So, You want to stay here this season? Yeah, exactly. I want to stay. Well, the Winnipeg Jets are the first Canadian team in the NHL to recognize that a lockout is likely coming. In an email to their stakeholders, partners and season ticket holders, they told them to be prepared for the possibility of cancelled games and team-related events. The current collective bargaining agreement is set to expire on Saturday, September 15th. That is nine days away. Still no plans for players or owners to meet at the negotiating tables. Canucks training camp is supposed to start next week at Rogers Arena and barring any 11th hour negotiations camp will likely be cancelled. Still some of the Canucks have made their way back to Vancouver and have been skating at UBC. It has to be business as usual for these guys. They'll continue to prepare for the season whenever it may start. For right now I got a plan to follow in the gym and on the ice. This, this is what I'm focusing on and uh, uh, if you start thinking too much this is when you can uh, hurt yourself. So uh, right now I'm just going to focus on being top shape. The training camp's not coming up here next week most likely um, unless talks change here quicker but you know you'll see that coming I think and you have a week or so a couple weeks to prepare for camp to start. Um, you gotta, I think you pace yourself a little bit, and you're not, uh, not completely, but certainly not in the 110, 100% shape that maybe you would be last year at this time. The puck dropped last night on another season in the Vancouver Island Junior Hockey League. The new West Shore Wolves franchise won their first ever regular season game, 1-0 over Cary Park. Tonight, the Nanaimo Buccaneers make their VIJHL debut, hosting the Comox Valley Glacier Kings. Well, believe it or not, there are also some athletes playing hockey on the pitch. Feast your eyes on the Wildcats. They're the first ever island team to play in the prestigious Vancouver Premier League. And they took on the UVic Vikes in a little exhibition tilt last night. Former national teamer and UVic Vike Ali Lee formed this group with the goal to give elite young players the chance to play alongside former national teamers and raise the level of play on the island. It's, a, it's an opportunity for fans here to see that hockey is coming out of the island and I think we've just needed it to complete our development cycle from the U14s, U12s all the way up to um, the girls that are ready for the junior national team and to head to university. We'll definitely be a young team but uh, that's our goal is to just develop and uh, to promote hockey. It's not really about winning, it's just about giving that uh, those girls an opportunity to play and have somewhere to look forward to. Perfect. But winning's nice. Winning's always nice. <laughs> we'll get there. 
<laughs> their first test in the Vancouver Premier League is September 15th when they host the Surrey Sharks. Well, tomorrow, island football powerhouses collide as the Mount Doug Rams make the trip over the Malahat to take on the John Barsby Bulldogs in preseason action. The Rams are the AAA BC champs. While Barsby lost in the AA title game last season, the Rams also boast the most dynamic playmaker in the province in Marcus Davis. Terrell's little brother plays a rare combination of defensive back, running back, and receiver and can't wait to unleash the total package tomorrow night. A little bit. Uh, playing wide receiver and running back. Uh, Coach Mars is putting me out in a position to make some plays for our team. And uh, do, I'll try and do the best I can. Boy, what a great team that we're playing. It's our island rival, John Barsby. They're tough as nails. We've had some great battles with them in the past. And uh, it's going to be a real slugfest. I know both teams are really apt to get out there and play some football against Barsby. Barsby, uh, their fans are pretty crazy. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem for us, so uh, we're, we can do pretty good. I'm at Ice Center. In Nanaimo, it's a new Vancouver Island Hockey League franchise going to take the ice for their first ever regular season game. The Nanaimo Buccaneers will host the Comax Valley Glacier Kings and the puck drops at 7.30 on a new era of hockey. And how about this? Jerseys that have never been worn before, helmets that are still in their boxes. It's like Christmas morning for these young bucks. Team owners Phil and Brenda Levesque have been preparing for this night for two years now, and they hope that the evening's pre-game festivities go off without a hitch and that the team notches their first win. Well, tired of watching all their young hockey players leave the Harbour City to play for other island teams, the Levesques began the pursuit to provide Junior B hockey to Nanaimo athletes. Head coach Brad Knight says the team is intensely local and will provide an entertaining brand of hockey. The team is new, but the goal... I mean, obviously we'd like to win. We want to win as many games as we possibly can. That's why you play hockey. That's why you play sports. And, uh, you know, our expectations is our kids will be better at the end of the year as they are at the start of the year. And we're generally excited to see how we uh, perform. Just uh, excited to get going. And uh, I'm excited for our owners who have worked really, really hard to, to make this happen. And I'm excited for the kids because, you know, they've been working hard for the last six months preparing themselves for this night.